Okay? So, one lead to the positive terminal of the input of the whole circuit and one lead to the series resistance. And we can see 23, 28 amps. And it's blinking because I've uploaded the, uploaded the blink sketch. So I know it's working. It's jumping back and forth between uh, between 26, 25, 27 milliamps because the la uh, LED is flashing. Actually, uh, the LEDs take uh, more than the processor itself if you put them all on, since they can sync 40 milliamps each if you want to. Anyhow, yeah, it looks totally fine. So let's put it in the other lead, the other side of the resistor and it takes yeah about the same current so it was a lot l less than I expected actually uh, so I think it's safe to say that we can now plug the circuit in as it's supposed to be and take out this uh, serious resistance like this and attach the leads for the first time um, to V in is red and ground is black like this and it blinks yeah let's put it in the 20 volts range so we can measure, measure voltages just to be sure of what we're having so let's attach one lead to the uh, negative terminal and one lead to the positive terminal of the um, um, 5 volt regulator output which is VCC here which goes all the way here to this track and let's check it hmm yeah there we go 4.98 volts very steady nice okay let's check um, this uh, 3 volt regulator here this is uh, this big fat trace here and let's check what it outputs 3.30 volts very very good and we can also check that the sensor has uh, 3 volts on this lead furthest out 3.3 volts yep yeah. okay so we're still measuring uh, volts and I wanna measure the uh, voltage drop across this diode so one lead on uh, both ends and we're measuring 0 0.72 yeah, so that's what we'll also put into the um, battery monitor code and also the uh, resistances of the uh, resistors we measured uh, when we installed them here. And also the voltage from the 5 volt regulator of the Pro Mini, which is 4.98 volts. That's our AREF. Uh, when we upload the firmware, Let's put in the FTDI chip, like this, and we're gonna put in the USB cord, like this. Make sure we have uh, AeroCode Mini defined, uh, we have xconfig, we have flight angled ARG, so uh, we're gonna use ARG because we don't have a magnet magnetometer and we don't want the DCM, so we're choosing ARG. Okay, so in battery monitor.h we got R1 to uh, 14,630 ohms, which we measured earlier. Uh, R2, the low resistance of uh, 7460 ohms. 4.98 volts is our AREF, the VCC, which is the same in this circuit. And we also measured the um, diode to be. 0 0.72 volts okay so now we've got those figured out let's save it and upload it okay so we have connected the battery because we need the battery to provide uh, power to the regulator we have uploaded the code and activated battery monitor and uh, added in all, all our defines for that which we measured earlier and um, let's connect to the configurator and it's working so left right left right you can see it on the gyro roll that it goes left and right and axle roll is constantly left 
constantly right. Um, axle pitch is uh, zero now or uh, negative, and it's positive here. It goes up like this. Um, so does the gyro pitch for angular velocity up, down, up, down. Okay, and the um, gyro, uh, your gyro is correct too. Goes uh, counterclockwise this way and clockwise this way. We have uh, 8.2 volts of battery voltage, and that's very nice because I checked it out with my multimeter and it's correct. So let's leave it flat on the table like this and uh, hit the initial setup button. In initialize EEPROM and it should be done and it should flash, yeah. And calibrate sensors, calibrate level, calibrate gyros, and calibrate axles. All right, the meters are level and not much noise at all. Yep, yeah, that's nice. And let's go to artificial resin, which is a little leaned because um, I leaned it. And let's check left. Whoa. And right, left and right, follows really good, upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards, yeah. So, I think we have made it all the way. Now it's time for flight test. Okay, and uh, one more thing, we'll have to wait it. So let's put it on here. And we're reading 17 grams. Okay, and since we got the board done, we want to mount it on our quad. This is our board, which we're going to mount, the mini board. And I'll place it uh, as straight as I can and pre-drill it with a 3 millimeter drill. We're going to put some screws through here. And check if the board fits. <clears throat> Seems that it does. And now it's finished. We have mounted the board. The sensor board is still on its um, piece of foam and the wires here. So it can still move around. I had to make a little um, a little side connector here. These ESC connectors. Yeah, you can play melodies on these. Oh, it's almost ready to run. We'll just have to plug in the receiver too. This is my uh, receiver board, which contains the fast Futaba fast receiver and the. Uh, antennas going out like this and I've fastened them with um, zip ties and these are the connectors for the receiver and the signals and nothing in between here on the ground and plus because those are the same as these two so we only need these two to, to um, supply power and put it on like this and first we're gonna put in the six pin headers like this and hope that the uh, order is correct otherwise we'll change it in a code or by changing these pins here okay and we will connect this one with the um, the red wire in the middle which goes into this pin and the ground below it So it will connect like this. So let's flip this about like this.
Okay, so we're connected to the configurator. I've got the um, test battery in, just for the sensors. The USB cable here, through the FTDI chip, is powering the Pro Mini. And it's also powering the receiver here. I've plugged it in. And what we got is um, that the pitch channel is going up and down like this. The roll channel, your channel, and the throttle channel. They're all working. Okay. So we're gonna <coughs> hit the calibrate transmitter. Okay, next. And we're gonna jerk them around up to the limits. Left and right, up and down, up and down, left and right like this and also work the mode channel and the altitude hold channel which we'll use later and save that okay so we're hooked up and we can arm it and we're in uh, acro mode now so the motor outputs will look like this if we try to roll it and like this if we try to pitch it and like this if we try to uh, yaw it and they will get back to normal uh, when we have it still but if we would flip the uh, stable switch and uh, roll it they will stay like this so that's how you can determine that you're in stable mode And we can also confirm that our, our controls are working, like this, pitching forward and releasing to the middle. And it will stay in the middle like this, or when you tilt it, it will look like this. So let's flight test it.